it's a feminist response. A fuck a diet is a feminist response to diet culture. What do you mean by that? I definitely primarily talk about this from a woman's perspective because that has been my experience. And you know, so much of diet culture for so long until very recently. And that's what I'm saying. Like more and more and more, I'm seeing more men have body dysmorphia, have disordered eating, be obsessed with bulking up, be obsessed with being lean. And it's just as toxic as it is for women. Like it's the, the suffering is just as real. It is, it is real suffering and we all deserve to heal honestly, and to have a positive body image. And a culture that is kind, that is forgiving, that is supportive, that where there is body diversity. But until very recently, this was something that really was imposed on women by the patriarchy of like, this is an acceptable woman. This is the kind of woman that deserves attention and marriage and success and power and love and acceptance. And it really did come, it came both from a patriarchal, you know, sort of paradigm, but also from a very purity and religious based way of looking at like, we need to have control over our bodies. Women need to be pure, you know, eating a lot is bad. Pleasure is bad. Um, following your heart is bad. Like, oh, you know, like we did not have control and we did not have power and we did not have autonomy. And the acceptable way to be a woman was pushed on us for ever. I mean, for so long and it's changed what, what an acceptable woman is has changed throughout the decades and the centuries, but there's always been something that we have had to be and being small and having a specific body, even though that has also changed. Like if you look even just throughout the 1900s, the acceptable woman's body has changed over time, but it has always been some version of thin and some version of feminine and dainty and petite. And it's often you know, dieting has often been pushed on women as women as a way to be beautiful and to be acceptable and to be, um, you know, to, to, to not rock the boat essentially. And so that is something like we can pretend that we, that we're past that, but it's, we're not, you know, we're not at all. And it's, it's in our very di- distant past. And it's also still lingering in a million ways. I mean, just go on, Instagram and you'll see like all the influencers who have these perfect lives are skinny little beautiful people who all look a certain way. And in some ways it is just the nature, you know, it's just human nature to, to kind of do that and to idle. It's like any sort of trends, like, you know, we, we learn what is trendy and beautiful and then we perpetuate it until the trends change, which they do. But so to understand that it is learned is really interesting because it sometimes feels so inherent. It is very learned. Um, but it, it has been this way of, you know, what is the quote by Naomi Wolf that dieting is um, one of the most potent political sedatives because it does distract you. Like it distracts you not only on the actual pursuit of dieting in the first place, but it also makes you obsessed with food. Mm-hmm. And so it is a way to to suppress people. And it is also not to be super dramatic, but, uh, caloric deprivation and also sleep deprivation are used as like cult brainwashing techniques. Like it is a way to break someone down and make someone less powerful. So, you know, is it, is it deliberate? Like did all the men get together and say like, let's force them into diet? No, but it has been something that's been a part of our of our culture and our consciousness for centuries, for a really long time. So, you know, in that way, it is feminist to say like, we're not going to do this anymore. Like we're not going to fit into this little box that we, even right now, like we feel so free, but there's still a box of what a, a perfect, like impressive woman is. She's thin, she's pretty, she, you know, is nicely styled and she's really successful at some like, artistic career or some entrepreneur career and she has three kids and she's an amazing mom you know like there's even more that we're expected to do now so it it hasn't really gone away it's just morphed and shift shifted and i think just to at least have awareness about it is really important and essential if we want to have any sort of freedom 
Yeah, I think that's great. And um, it's funny, I think back to the times when people would tell me to like be as small as possible. And they tell men or little boys grow up to be big and strong, Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm, And mm -hmm. girls, they tell us to take up no room, smaller, yeah. smaller, smaller, disappear if you can. Like, yeah, keep even going. Just, <laughs> even just, yeah, no, even just that, like there are people who could be like, oh, you're reading into it too much. No, no. Like mm-hmm. that is very symbolic of what is expected of us. And we take it on. I mean, look at, well, we're, we were all dieting. We took it on, you know? So it's very real. 